Alright, here's a great example of lost in translation. Screw up your Raspberry Pi. So I can't recommend you guys to screw up your Raspberry Pi, but you could screw it in. You could screw in your Raspberry Pi. SM Raza coming out with a new hybrid case. So part aluminum, part acrylic. Those clear pieces are acrylic. You can also go with black acrylic, so it's black on black if you like. Comes with rubber feet, comes with a fan, comes with heat sinks, a screwdriver. So really a good competitor in the rectangle case game. And uh, the fact that it's a hybrid that's not all aluminum is you're still gonna get some heat dissipation from the aluminum, but you're not gonna block your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth signals. You're not gonna need a dongle necessarily. So um, comes with a fan really cool stuff um, let's go ahead and put it together and do a heat test on this unit let's check it out today we have the SM Raza this is the Raspberry Pi for the Raspberry Pi 3B plus base feels like aluminum interesting yes yeah, so you get a nice thick piece of aluminum here with a heat sink on there that's really cool. So let's just, I'm gonna take off the plastic first though. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, first things first. We finished all the plastic pieces. Please put the screws into the rubber feet. Okay, so I'm guessing the longest screws first. You put them inside the rubber feet. Hard to get them through there. Okay, you got the screwdriver. Push them through, all right. Um, then they go in the corner and then these feet go on them it is threaded in the bottom and the top of these pieces in the channel oh and the corner pieces are aluminum the corner pieces are aluminum so that actually should dissipate there should be some heat transfer there as far as between the bottom and the top plate now got the corners in. Next, it says peel and then add the four pieces. It says peel, add four pieces. All right, so um, in the diagram, they have the heat sink exactly like I have it. So that would mean we want the plate with the outputs on it. This one with the ethernet port to the left. We can go ahead and slide this in. That piece goes to the left. And the side, the one with the small, wait a second. Okay, for the SD slot in the front here, it's got a little spot for the SD. And then the other side is the one for the GPIOs. GPIOs go towards the top. Whoa, goes in that hole. Okay. And then the outputs. Ah, okay, you have two options here. I was like, why do we have so many pieces? So you can either go all black and do black it out, or you can go with clear. Interesting. I'm gonna go with clear. And then on the back, this one goes towards the top. Okay. So it can go like this. All right, so we got all that on. Three, you put the pie in. So we've got a Raspberry Pi 3. Go ahead and put this in. Fits pretty good. And then I imagine we just use the shorter of the screws. <laughs> All right, here's a great example of lost in translation. Screw up your Raspberry Pi. So I can't recommend you guys to screw up your Raspberry Pi, but you could screw it in. You could screw in your Raspberry Pi. Oh, that's nice. Broken layers, email us for replacement. That's what I'm gonna say, these, when you're peeling them off, they can uh, definitely have issues. So now, here's the top, but you gotta put the fan on first. And let's go ahead and go with high speed here. You have high speed or low speed. High, we're gonna go red and then black. Second pin, red. Third pin, black. This goes like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, and then you just need the short screws to finish it off. 
All right, and there you have it. You still get your SD card really easily. Bottom is nice and clean. It's all aluminum. Aluminum corners and everything, but clear, floating. I really like the look, the floating look. If you want, again, you can black it out. Just go pure black. If you want to kind of go for that dark night type of thing, blackout look, get the rubber feet on there. They're not really rubber, kind of plasticky, but they work, they do the job. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and test out the heat on it, but so far it's a really nice little case, a lot, and nice that there's some aluminum. It's um, kind of a hybrid case. We don't see a lot of these where you get aluminum and plastic acrylic, so um, pretty nice. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is that the um, the ports don't really hang out like on a lot of other cases they hang out so you are gonna need like another you know eighth of an inch here which shouldn't be an issue with most HDMI and 3.5 millimeter as well as the power cable the opening is really big it shouldn't be an issue I'm just saying it's a little bit weird where like you know for example these you know it's much it's closer to the lined up um, and the GBIO I actually have it on backwards look at that. This cutout should actually be there. I have to flip that 180 degrees. But uh, other than that, it's looking good. So this is a stock clock running the Sysbench test to max out all the cores on the CPU. And then here's your temps. And uh, this is with no heat sinks on it, but in the case with the fan on. The next test, I put the heat sinks on and I overclocked it. Um, and I actually ended up running the test twice because it didn't quite run properly the first time. Uh, but you can see, you know, how high it could go up to and then also how high it'll cool off from uh, as well. All right, so we're now overclocked at 1.5 gigahertz from uh, 1.4. We're still hovering around that 38 degrees. And we're going to go and max out the CPU. All right, went up to 47 degrees this time. 47, 46, and then back up. Can we run that one more time? There we go. Here's the fan going, and this has been going for about 10 minutes now, so if it's gonna speed up, it's sped up, and it's on high. So good fan noise already. I can tell a big difference in cooling. Love the design with the aluminum and temps so it got as high as 53 but you're gonna see it's gonna it's gonna sh shoot right down because I, I did back to back max throttle tests on here and uh, that's what I thought I mean it should get down down to 46 pretty quick and you know within probably you know and you're not gonna be maxing out your CPU all the time uh, but 4.5 uh, it's still 4.5, 45 degrees ish. Um, if you give this time, you'll see it would get back down to probably 39, 38. So there you have it. Cool little case. Gonna give this two thumbs up. Um, even my little issue with the outputs, I don't think that's gonna affect a lot of people. Um, most outputs are gonna work just fine. Um, everything else looks good. The fan isn't too loud. The construction is very solid, especially with it being aluminum. Um, typically with these acrylic cases, if they drop on their corner, they break. Well, guess what? These have aluminum uh, corners. So not only is it extra sturdy, but it also adds a little bit of cooling and heat dissipation as well. So overall, gotta give it two thumbs up. I haven't seen the price on this yet. If it's anywhere near in the ballpark of 20 bucks, um, I definitely think it's a good buy. One other thing I forgot to mention, which is actually a really Really big deal is that this thing does not block your Wi-Fi signals or Bluetooth signals which is a big issue with some of the aluminum cases out on the market if you enjoyed the video go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one